Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. It's Girl Fanny Lungu back with another reaction video. If you're new to this channel, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and of course, do not forget to subscribe. Like I said, my name is Fanny Lungu, and on this channel, we post reaction videos each and every day. So if there's something that you guys want us to react to, let us know by dropping us a link in the comment section below, and we'll do it for you. Uh, we've got a second YouTube channel called Funny and Jesse 2.0. You guys can hit the subscribe and enjoy our weekly content. We've got a podcast called Diving In with Funny and Jesse. And we have some amazing conversations which you guys don't want to miss. You can find us on iTunes, Spotify, Podbean, this channel, or our second YouTube channel, YouTube channel for the visual. And we've got a Patreon. You guys can feel free to become members and we'll appreciate a big shout out to everyone that has subscribed to our channel. Thank you for subscribing, liking, commenting. Everything that you guys are doing is really, really appreciated. So thank you very much. I hope you guys are doing all right and may you stay blessed. Um... So today I'm going to be reacting to the Army of Satan part 11, the danger of TV Illuminati gender. I think we've reacted to something like this but it's, it may be not the same video but yeah so I'm going to be reacting to this and a big shout out to the person that suggested this so without wasting time let's get into the video. The greatest hypnotist on planet Earth is a oblong box in the corner of the room. It is constantly telling us what to believe is real. The sharing of biased and false, false news has, has become, become all too common, common on, on social, social media. media. More alarming this is extremely dangerous to our democracy. 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 This is extremely dangerous, dangerous to our democracy. Dangerous. Extremely dangerous. Our democracy. Extremely dangerous to our democracy. What's happening is we are being hypnotized from cradle to grave by people like this. News readers, politicians, teachers, lecturers. We're being programmed to see the world in a certain way. Sihr is a reality in the world and people practice magic. And one of the practices is, is through the eyes, seducing the eyes in television and, and spectacle. It's the sihr of the ayun. Now I want to interpret this hadith. Hasir is a mat, it's a matrix, it's like this. It, it, it has vertical and horizontal and it's, it's a mat. And, and the Prophet said that the fitin will be shown to the hearts like a, a, a mat. Udan Udan. It has two lines, a horizontal and vertical line. This is the TV set. This is the, this is the set. It's a hasir. It's a mat. And the Prophet said, the fitin will be shown to the hearts like a mat. Kal hasir. And this is how shaitan is destroying the hearts. By showing them the fitin on these films and on TV over and over again until people just become accustomed to violence. If you look, re re all of the research that we have indicates that media violence has increased in quantity, but it's also more graphic, more sexual, and more sadistic. This is the khutawat of shaitan. If you watch films from the 1940s, the 1930s, the 1950s, see, you can see it's slow. This is how shaitan gets people. He pulls them step by step. These are his khutawat. You start watching films, they've introduced violence. These are the khutawat of shaitan. And shaitan wants violence and sex are his two. These are because they're very powerful for the human psyche. And these are the two ways that he can really corrupt the heart. This is from the United States. So I'm using statistics from the US, but, but 
it's all coming to you, unfortunately. So 80% of R-rated movies, right? 70% of restricted video games and 100% of music with explicit content, warning labels were being marketed to children under 17. So they know what they're doing. These are the minions of shaitan. Whether they're conscious of it or not, they're unconscious. If you say, We believe in freedom of speech, we believe in artistic expression, we're not sowing corruption. No, they're the corruptors. But they're unaware. So many of them are literally minions. By the time the average child in the United States is 18 years old, they will have seen 200,000 acts of violence and 16,000 murders. Our children have been programmed to be violent. This is the average time spent watching television, 5.11 hours in the United States every day. 99% of households that possess at least one TV, 2.4 TV sets in the average US household, right? Because some have five, some have one in every room. 56 percentage of Americans who pay for cable TV. 49% say they watch too much TV. Amazing. 34 hours per week over the age of two spent in front of a TV. 24 hours per week, two to 11 spent watching TV. 54% of four to six year olds who when asked to choose between watching TV and spending time with their fathers preferred television. Average American youth, 900 hours in school, 1,200 hours watching TV, right? By the time they get out of high school. It's amazing. 16,000 number of 30 second TV commercials seen in a year. And you know what they call these? Now an important message from our sponsor. Message in Arabic is Risala. This is the real reason they want you to buy and consume their goods because it's a consumer civilization. Cartoons are very serious. This uh, cartoon is was done, it's for adults. The man that does this cartoon, literally, he's an atheist, doesn't believe in anything, makes fun of everything, cynicism, everything's a joke. Kids watch this show, it's a very sophisticated show. This is all about ghosts and, and demons and the occult, the Scooby-Doo has all these occult themes in it. You've got all these cartoons here now, and your kids are growing up on this crap. And you really have to think seriously, garbage in, garbage out. You have to think seriously about what's being done to your children's minds if you're letting them watch TV. Children imitate what they see. Now, Maleficent, you could see, see Disney, they used to have films where the witch was evil and, and now they entice them. This is the fitna. They make a beautiful, see, they used to make them old hags. If you, if you see, the old film, the witch was old hag, but we get them by degrees. Now they take somebody that many people consider a very beautiful woman, and, and they put her in Bofemet's mask, and then it becomes seductive. He takes people by degrees. I mean, what is this? Why are they doing this? Why are you wearing horns? We're human beings, we're not demons. And then you can see these signs. Why do they use these symbols? Why is there so much one-eye symbolism amongst these entertainers? I've never seen any normal person do that. Why do they do this? Because this is their religion. They worship the, the, the one-eyed God. Why are they preparing our children for one-eyed characters? Why? Why do they all do these one-eyes? What, what's going on? Why are all their symbols with one eye? And you know, when you're watching television, you go into a brainwave state that is akin to being in a hypnotic trance. 
and so much is fed to, through that system subliminally as well as actually um, to get us to see the world in a certain way. They want to manipulate what is in our heads so that we see the world they want us to perceive. إن من علام الساعة وأشراطها أن تواصل الأطباق وأن تقطع الأرحام. This to me is one of the clear prophetic miracles of the Prophet because I believe that the atbaq, and you know in Algeria, what do they call the dish? Tabak. They call the satellite dish in North Africa atbaq, and that is a correct ta'rib. In the East, they call them suhun or dishat. They call them suhun, and that's an incorrect hadith because a sahan is a flat dish. The tabak is a, is a, is a concave dish. And so atbaq is the correct meaning. And the Prophet used the very word that's used for satellite communications, muwasalat. He said, tuwasal al-atbaq, that the, the dishes will be communicating continuously and people will sever their family ties. In other words, people will stay home and watch television on satellite dish and they won't go visit their neighbors. This is an amazing hadith to me. Television is a goddamn amusement park. Television is a circus, a carnival, a traveling troupe of acrobats, storytellers, dancers, singers, jugglers, sideshow freaks, lion tamers, and football players. We're in the boredom killing business. So if you want the truth, go to God. Go to yourselves. Because that's the only place you're ever going to find any real truth. But man, you're never going to get any truth from us. We'll tell you anything you want to hear. We lie like hell. We'll tell you that uh, Kojak always gets the killer and that nobody ever gets cancer in Archie Bunker's house. And no matter how much trouble the hero is in, don't worry, just look at your watch. At the end of the hour, he's going to win. We'll tell you any shit you want to hear. We deal in illusions, man. None of it is true. But you people sit there day after day, night after night, all ages, colors, creeds. We're all you know. You're beginning to believe the illusions we're spinning here. You're beginning to think that the tube is reality and that your own lives are unreal. You do whatever the tube tells you. You dress like the tube. You eat like the tube. You raise your children like the tube. You even think like the tube. This is mass madness, you maniacs. In God's name, you people are the real thing. We are the illusion. So turn off your television sets. Turn them off now. Turn them off right now. Turn them off and leave them off. Turn them off right in the middle of a sentence I'm speaking to you now. Turn them off. The storm comes, there's no protection. Now there's no roof because the satellite goes through the roof. So it's beamed into your house. You don't have the protection of your home anymore. What did the Ashab al-Kahf do? They fled to the cave, right? And that will protect you from the Dajjal. Be in your cave, guard yourself against these things. Your home is Darul Islam. Guard your home, protect your home. Don't invite shaitan in. Protect your children. They're pure, they're innocent. Look at them, they're just, they're beautiful. They're, they're ready to, to, to learn La ilaha illallah Muhammad Rasulullah by fitrah. They'll believe what you tell them. But if you put them in front of these things, they'll stop believing. This was very, very interesting. 
I like uh, I've reacted to something in the past some Islamic video and I like how they just hit the how they call a spade a spade let me just use that term um, I mean it's not a lie whatever was in this video is 100% true uh, the beginning of the video is very funny because uh, it's news outlets in the United States talking about how social media is passing on false information and yet these news outlets are the first ones to give us false information it's very very it's it's just insane it's really really insane they showed some cartoons and now if you watch these cartoons you will see when we're young you can't see these things but when you pay attention now you see all sorts of things all sorts of signs you name it you see it in cartoons there's these animated cartoons i don't think they're for children like the one that was showed what's it called is it family guy i'm not even sure because i don't watch it i've never really watched it but i've seen it i think is it family guy i'm not even sure but otherwise that's not for children at all that's not for children not even in any way for children another thing was like was that there's frequencies uh, being released from these things be it your tv your radio you name it i learned from someone that those frequencies can actually harm us one way or another so it's either they put you in a mood where you can be controlled they just dial down your energy they just whatever they do but those frequencies are just not okay for human beings i like i think when i was growing up i think i should be part of the last generation that grew up playing outside well at some point we got phones and got carried away people are missing out a lot nowadays or staying in uh, neighborhoods where we don't even know our neighbors you just know next door there's people and that's it you've never seen them you, you don't meet them whatever the case is what happened to just you know when someone moves into your neighborhood you go out and meet them that's not happening anymore that's barely barely rare it's rare and quite it's just rare for someone to actually go out and welcome their new neighbor into their hood so it's up to us we have the power we have the power to control all these things there's so many things that i want to talk about but then i don't want to make this video long but then it's up to us to control things it's up to us never to have tvs it's up to us to create activities for our children it's up to us to interact with our neighbors or whatever the case is it's really up to us find yourself um engaged with god so that you just resist the age also i think it's because what i do that's why we were more focused on tv because every time not just tv and other stuff as well because every time we want to relax we run to these things for pleasure why can't you relax by talking to your parents why can't you relax by just having a good conversation with your friends cousins whatever the case is there's just so many things we guys have to do to resist whatever is going on now so yeah let me know what you think about the message content in, the, in this video and a big shout out to the person that suggested this make sure to give this video a thumbs up share it with your friends and of course do not forget to subscribe and i'll see you in my next reaction video